Hey everybody, author, illustrator, all around nice guy, Rob Justice here for your TD Summer Reading Club illustrator this year. Uh, I hope you're watching this video on the TD Summer Reading Club website uh, and just having a great day. And uh, one thing I wanted to do with you guys today was to show you how to draw mythical beasts. You may have seen some of them in the TD Summer Reading Club pamphlets or posters at your local library, and I thought I would do uh, just a little demonstration of how I create uh, mythical beasts and some of the character design that I do. It's very simple, uh, it's very fun. I hope you follow along and come with me on this ride. So when it comes to drawing a mythical beast, uh, there's some characteristics that are always good to uh, have with your character. And a lot of mythical beasts have horns, fangs, claws, along with either or some scales, scaly like a reptile. They can be furry, and an assortment of spiky things. But they can also be, or also have, they can be either very Big or very small. And lastly, they can usually be half and half. So they can be two things mashed up. So mashed up animals. like a pegasus, a griffin, or a centaur, or even a mermaid. But today, tend to be, not always, but today we're going to draw the granddaddy of them all, the most mythical of mythical beasts, a dragon. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. So how do I draw a dragon? Well, like most art uh, workshops teach you, you can start with some shapes. So my dragon is going to be a combination of shapes. Rectangle here, and then maybe nice triangle body here with another long rectangle coming out here. And from there, we'll add our details. So I'll start with these shapes here. And then I like to start with the face. So we'll give our dragon some eyes, give him a big nose, and he'll be a pretty happy guy. A dragon. And from there, we can add ears, but maybe we'll add our mythical beast horns here. Horn, horn, horn. There we go. And I like to give them some nice wing ears. 
make it look a little reptilian. Those, and of course, we need some fangs. We can add a nice long neck. Woo! And here we can have his body. And so we'll add some scales to his neck here. And we'll add some arms to this before we draw his body. So let's give him some nice arms. And just as I mentioned before, we need some claws. But in his claws, I think he'll be eating a snack. And a little known fact is that dragons love some nice, crunchy potato chips. I think it helps with their fiery breath. So he's tossing in a nice big handful of chips, snacking away. They're ruffled. Then we'll go back to drawing his triangle body, which is a little hidden behind the bag of chips, but that's okay. We can just use this as a guide, and we can make it a little bigger if we want. Because a dragon is nice and kind of reptilian, you'll have this kind of slimy underbelly. And there, we'll add some dragon legs with some more claws. Now we know there's a few different types of dragons out there. And that dragons can vary a lot in shape and size. So what else does a dragon have? A dragon tends to have wings to fly with. There's big kind of bat-like wings. One of the other ones coming out over here. And he's just flapping away. Flap, flap, flap. Extra lines for flappage. And then of course his long dragon tail. With some spikes on the end. Some more scales. Maybe we'll give him some more spiky bits. And not all mythical beasts are angry. I may have mentioned that already. And this seems to be a happy dragon. And of course, this dragon needs a superpower of also being able to breathe fire. There's a nice little breath of fire there. Extra flame. There you have it. That is a very simple dragon. with his all these characteristics. He's got claws. He's got yep, fangs. He's got horns.
he's got some scales. And he also has spiky things. And we can also say he's very big. And we can do that by adding in just a nice, maybe he's flying over a little town, a little village underneath all their huts, a castle. all the village down below hanging out and we can also use maybe just a little bird as comparison And there you go. That's our dragon. That's how you draw a mythical beast. And there you have it. That's all there is to drawing some fun mythical beasts. Uh, you know, I hope you've uh, created something great at home. I hope you were able to just follow along with what I drew and, uh, you know, had a great time doing it. I would love to see what you guys have drawn. You can ask your parents to uh, maybe post it online if they have a social media account. They can feel free to tag me in it or TD Summer Reading Club. Uh, it would be great to see what you guys have come up with. And that is the end of this little workshop. Go create, make your own beasts of uh, mythical proportions and just have a great day. I'm Rob Justice, author, illustrator, nice guy, your TD Summer Reading Club illustrator, and I hope uh, you enjoyed this video.